Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saik and we're playing Legendary Iron Man Difficulty um, on Better 1 of the mod. It is month number 7. For those of you who have <clears throat> missed uh, the last two really major missions, we have just liberated the entirety of Africa. Good deal. Now it is time to turn our attention to a couple more mundane missions. Today it's Operation Sweaty Flame because... Who wouldn't think of a sweaty flame? Um, we're fighting against a few enemies and we have a really, really low-powered SWAT. We got Aftermaster Sharpshooter, a specialist, a Shinobi and a Ranger. Kind of a standard SWAT uh, with okayish weapons, uh, but we don't want them to take on 15 enemies. I think we're instead going to boost the infiltration a bit and that will get it down to only 12 enemies which is much more handleable 90% infiltrated yeah we want that engineer 30 intel for an engineer is absolutely a fair price to pay so let's jump right into the mission good we have just landed our extraction point isn't too far away which is a blessing and a burden at the same time. Also, we're not concealed. 21 turns is plenty for such a short distance. Short distance, however, also means uh, that everything will be very cramped. And I don't like cramped at all. Moving up with swordsmen here. Nothing. Okay. Well, I am certainly not disappointed about that result. Understood. Moving out. Haven't found a single enemy over here. But that's okay. We're <coughs> going to use our VIP. Put him into full cover. Reserving the other spots for Sniper. And our other operatives, respectively. I'm pushing a bit further in than normal. I'm hoping that next turn we can already kind of cross um, that building and use it as side cover to essentially bypass almost all of the enemies here. Play our cards right, we might as well go uh, get um, get out of here without even fighting. Hmm, that's an interesting proposition. Moving up. <laughs> they are standing on top of on top of an explosive device. So that is funny. Still haven't learned. Still haven't learned a thing. Could move all the way up to here, but that's a bit dangerous. So we're just doing the movement that is a hundred percent secure. Interesting. So that pack is much harder. It's probably a... I would consider that a very difficult pack. This quad pack here is doable. So that's four, seven... Yeah, so there's one more pack afterwards. Which also means... We should be fine. Hmm. We're just keeping our heads low. This here should not trigger anything. Same here. Yeah, the VIP 
Just needs to take cover. We're going into a position here with our sniper <coughs> that allows him to grapple hook if needed. And let's hunger down. Okay, two turns in. We already know where the majority of the enemies are. And we have a decent grasp on their position. Not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old explosion. I'm wondering why we can't do that with a sniper rifle. So this here would give us line of sight without providing line of sight onto any of them. Let's give it a try. Is too comical. How could you not like that? All right, one of them immediately died. The others have moved in and look pretty salty about their about uh, their recent fate. Move up to here, that'll get rid of the stun lancer. Yeah, let's try that. Shouldn't trigger another pack. This is a faceless one, can already see it. Why would a, civil a civilian just stand there? 50 50 to kill this guy. Nice one. And now we got uh, the unfortunate decision. Do we want to attack and deal with the faceless one? Or do we want the stun lancer to take out one of our soldiers, potentially the one that has revival protocol? Um, I'm making the conscious decision to attack and lose our stealth, which might trigger another pack. I hope it's not the case. But at least we're getting rid of the stun lancer. Impressed yet? Okay. Killed a pack of four. Pretty solid engagement overall. Moving in. No enemy contact whatsoever. There we go. That's unfortunate. Let's still try to kill the Viper. We could use a flashbang. Uh, let's kill the Sidewinder. It's good. It's good. We're hunkering down here. We can flashbang both of them. Now let's do that. The 
Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately that would end our turn. I think we're still going to kill the Sidewinder. Even if that means uh, we're maybe taking a shot. If he were to take us in melee, that would be a pretty good uh, decision for us because we could parry it. Fortunately, he didn't do that. All right, time for us to grapple. Moving over, just in case, so I think we're, we should hold or target him. He has defense, making him more difficult to hit, and we need a couple of hits. Moving up. 94%. Gosh, that would be nice. But we're not close enough for the shotgun. Heading out. Moving up. So I'm going to kill him, but with Bladestorm together, it's going to at least damage him a lot. And we can parry his melee attack. That is, if he decides to melee attack. Blazing Pinions? I fucking knew it. It is always the same with the AI. All right, Oscar Mike, to get everything started. Incoming, just in case we're taking grenade damage. I don't want to move too far and pull maybe another pack, so I'm going to be careful here. Have potentially marked him beforehand. So we're not in range, which means we can still try to kill him. Very close. Moving into cover. Come on. That's a 50 50. You know that, was good. that was pretty damn good, yeah. And there we go, that's the last enemy.
All right, so moving here. Shotgun to the face, and that's a deal, done deal. Reinforcements are soon going to come in. Which means we are going to get out of here. And guys, it almost looks as if we have played a flawless mission for once. No fuck-ups, just straight out decent XCOM 2. All right, and we are out of here. Let's go, baby. There was still a pack left over. But a flawless mission is a flawless mission. Not gonna argue with it. And here we go. Am I seeing a promotion? Am I seeing a promotion? No, I am seeing no promotion whatsoever. But we got um, an engineer, which is cool because now we got seven engineers and you guys might not know that, but uh, we could build an item, which we haven't built so far. Meaning, here we go, fusion blade, because that requires uh, seven engineers. And for the measly amount of one Archon Corpse uh, fuse supplies, two alien alloys, three crystals, and an alarum core, this is going to rock your world. I am uh, not sure how much damage, but I think it was around like 12 to 15. So this is going to hurt, like big time. Super good power spike for melee characters. Good. Plus, we got another engineer, which is great. Speaking about which, we have enough um, supplies, so we might want to go and actually put an engineer here and start a project. What are we going to start? Schooljack would be good to control the pro um, avatar project. Blaster is not as good. Frost bomb might be okay. Another spark, mm, not needed yet. Red screen, uh, uh, red screen rounds is good if we want to hack something. It reduces the hacking uh, time, uh, the the technical resistance of the enemy rather. Incendiary grenades aren't bad for crowd control, obviously. Being able to create scopes definitely also a good option. I think we're going to go with something uh, something simple. The frost bomb can make a difference. It's a good it's a good um, item with advanced uh, grenade launchers. It can be quite he um, quite good. So that is solid. Let me see. That's another one of these missions. This time we're going for a scientist. Um, free him from a prison cell, 13 to 15 enemies. And we got a pretty strong team, Baya, Glitch, um, Bob Ross, and uh, Wildcat. So I'm even considering if we're just kind of using the infiltration as this. I mean, we could get it up to 100% with our intel and just do the easy peasy version of it, or we're accepting a few more enemies in. I mean, with under 100% infiltration, we would start without uh, without concealment. 100% infiltration would probably give us concealment. Fixed evac, concealed start. It's probably even a concealed start with that infiltration level. 
yeah, I'll think it through, guys. I don't, I don't know the answer yet. I don't know the answer yet. One thing that I would know is once Roby is back from being lightly wounded, I want to retrain him. He's one of uh, the ones where I think I'm going to play a bit with his soldier abilities. Uh, essentially getting rid of chain shot, rapid fire is much better and just taking demolition instead. It's nothing that needs to be urgently done. But when we do have some time, that's definitely an option. Elsewise, we're already training everyone. Advanced coil guns in eight days. Once that is done, we can go for plasma weapons. And boy, oh boy, am I looking forward for plasma. That's going to be huge. It's going to be expensive, but also huge at the same time. Anyways, today's a bit of a shorter video, 21 minutes clean mission but after the long long missions in uh, the last videos that might be a refreshing change as always um, hit the like and subscribe button and uh, leave a comment down below much appreciated see you in the next run bye bye